Hi, I'm Paul with Boaters Exchange in Rockledge, Florida and New Smyrna Beach. And today we're gonna to check out the all new 2022 Everglades 235 Center Console. There's a ton to talk about, let's get started. The Everglades 235 is the next version of the original Everglades 230cc. There's a ton of updates. It's been it's a redesign really from the from the bottom up. Um, one of the main features of all Everglades boats is ram cap design. It's a patented process. Stands for rapid molded core assembly process. What does that mean? It's a foam filled boat, but instead of blind foaming like every other foam filled boat, they pre mold their foam and they actually sandwich it between um, uh, layers of fiberglass to make a solid piece of hull bottom upon which the deck is, is uh, attached to. So there's kind of like a boat inside of a boat. What does it mean to you? Ride quality and safety. So let's check out some of the other features of the 235. Let's look inside. Everglades has packed a ton of features into the 235. I don't know of any other 20 foot, 23 foot boat that has so many things to talk about. Uh, their fit and finish, first of all, is second to none. Their non-skid diamond pattern is very aggressive. The anchor locker is set up really nice with great fit and finish. You can take a look that the underside is beautifully finished, no sharp edges. We've got flush cut mounting hardware and in the anchor locker this one is set up with an anchor hanger but there's also an optional windlass of course we have the pop-up cleats the flush nav lights and check it out we've got the combo rod holder cup holders so for people that are sitting in the bow there's a total of six cup holders just in this front space alone and the two rod holders. The forward facing backrests uh, make it nice. Again, not many 23 foot boats that have these. So very sturdy, um, high end upholstery with diamond powder, pattern stitching. And of course the integrated powder coating grab rail. So this whole front area is very comfortable and relatively large for a 23 footer. On days when you're not fishing, all of the bow cushions remove, and so, to, so do the backrests, so those can be put away or left at the dock or left in place. Back over here, we've got the uh, cooler seating. So we have uh, drop-down armrests, and again, very comfortable seating. It's um, contour molded uh, to the underside of the occupants, and again, um, an integrated cooler which could double as uh, an auxiliary fish box to the one that's on the floor. So we've got a forward fish box here. One of the things about Everglades boats, or really any foam filled boat, is that the main um, deck areas under the deck are actually foam. So there's a little less opportunity for them to use deck storage um, and so therefore, for a fish box, it is in the front of the boat. Some would say that's a negative. Um, I've actually used the boat myself and uh, it's just, it's not a problem. But that is one thing to keep in mind. So what did Everglades do to compensate for that lack of deck storage uh, because of the foam filled nature of the boat is they've given you side storage lockers. Um, again, pretty creative on a 23 to have the side storage lockers coming back a little ways. We've also got the uh, fender holders. Now these are removable, so when you're out fishing, you can remove these and you have a nice flush fitting that's not gonna snag fishing lines. They are first and foremost a fishing boat. Um, it is a higher end sort of luxury quality fishing experience. It's great for um, not only just fishing, but also family cruising, just enjoying a day on the water, going to the sandbar, going to the restaurant. More pop-up cleats midship, and then again in the back. Now here we go, we've got more gunnel rod holders. So on this side of the boat, I have four gunnel rod holders, and uh, the rod holder in the back, or I should say two of the four gunnel rod holders are cup holder combos. So the cup holder combos are not just for holding drinks. They're great for you know putting your uh, fishing tackle in there or different knickknacks, so it makes it really handy. 
So continuing on to the console and the helm, we've got a very generous space in the center console. It opens up nice. There's a porto potty with a nice teak floor step down and then the C-deck flooring. We also have battery storage inside the console, so they're tucked out of the way. And of course, um, our amplifier for the stereo. Access to the back side of the electronics is always so important. Everglades gives us two big access hatches. So when it comes time to check a connection or check a fuse, it's easy to get to. One down here, one up above. The little details go on and on. Check out how on the back side of the screws that hold in the glove box, they've taken the time to put sealant so that there's no sharp edge. An interesting fact about Everglades is they have their roots in hardtop design. Um, they, they patented the ram cap process making uh, lightweight, strong hardtops for the sport fish industry and then developed boats using the same ram cap technology. So the Everglades hardtops are second to none. They're very, very sturdy. Uh, they were the first to really feature the powder coated hardtops, powder coated boats. The, we've got glass um, uh, enclosure for the helm, uh, for the center console, and an industry first on a 23 that I know of is the hydraulically actuated windshield. Now that's really handy on those hot summer days and you just want to have airflow, but then if you run through a, a thundercloud or a rainstorm, you can raise it and become, uh, become reasonably dry. It's also got the windshield wiper with the wash. Every Everglades features a Sea Deck helm pad. Um, it's nice and thick, and it's got the custom logo. We've also got the Sea Deck on the footrest, really handy. Uh, my wife loves that when she's um, sitting at the helm seat. Now, at the dash, we're feature Everglades is featuring the Boca switches. So no more toggle switches. Boca switches have been around for quite a few years and we're starting to see them integrated in more and more boats. They're just really handy if I want to turn on the uh, raw water pump. It's just an easy push button. You've also got the flush mounted GPS, the Yamaha CL7 gauge, and then overhead there's another electronics panel, stereo, VHF, which is currently on back order, thanks COVID, and then more room to put any other overhead electronics, uh, maybe an autopilot display or something like that. So really well thought out. We've also got good handholds for everybody. So a lot of times if someone else is driving, you know, I like to stand over here. I've got a good handhold here. I've got another one here at the helm seat. And then there's one on the side of the center console over there. It's very, very safe to get around when you're out there in the rough seas, which is really what this boat is designed for. A uh, couple other neat things. There's also um, a small sea deck pad on top of the helm, so it's a good place to lay down uh, maybe a handheld VHF radio or a cell phone. One of the most exciting innovations in our industry in the last couple of years is called Helmaster EX by Yamaha. This boat is equipped with digital electric steering. It's fully electric, no hydraulics whatsoever on the steering. We've also got the new Helmaster EX control box. It is very, very smooth and it fully integrates with the Yamaha joystick and also the digital helm. It also has a really neat feature, which is speed control, which gives you um, essentially cruise control on a boat. Super handy when you're offshore and you just wanna go a little bit faster or a little bit slower. It's the touch of a button. It also integrates if there's a second station much more easily than old style controls. Now we get a lot of questions about Helmaster EX and uh, one of the neat things that you can add on to a Helmaster EX boat is autopilot as well as joystick. So there's way more information to talk about. Uh, what we're going to do is link the videos to the, uh, from Yamaha on the Helmaster EX system. Check those out if you're, if you're not familiar. Um, like to talk now about this really cool helm seat. When I said at the beginning of the video that um, Everglades has packed a ton into a small boat, one of the cool things is the helm seat. We've got these very 
aggressive, or I should say sturdy bolsters with heavy duty hardware. Um, these are not flimsy at all. So for those that want to sit or ride up top, you can do it either way. But the neat thing on this one is the helm seat actually reverses backwards. So I can swivel that seat around and let's say that I'm at the sandbar and my kids or grandkids are, are messing around and I just want to chill out on the boat. I've got a really comfortable viewing seat and um, it's pretty handy to be able to have that versatility. Oh, by the way, uh, a couple other things about this is there's also a flip down footrest. So um, my wife likes that because she's not as tall as I am and she's got somewhere to put her feet. Now check this out. If you um, say for instance with this boat or let's say you're trolling offshore and you want to have somebody facing aft watching the lines, the driver still has a small cushion for their uh, behind to lean against. And what's behind this? More tackle storage. Pretty handy. Now for any of you that are wondering about the sort of rigidity of this helm seat and is the thing going to swivel while I'm, while I'm underway? The answer is no, because it actually has locking pins on each side that can be slid up that completely lock the seat in place in addition to the lever. Now just taking a bigger tour of the cockpit, we've got some pretty generous horizontal rod storage on the starboard side of the boat. Over here, we've got two very large flip out seats in the back. So there's actually enough room for four people because you've got two of these seats. But when you're fishing offshore, they go flush and you've got a nice bolster pad for fighting a fish. Very innovative. Coming around to the back of the boat, we've got one of the two live wells and it has a uh, nice blue interior with soft corners and a clear glass. It just helps your bait fish be a little more comfortable and typically last longer. Over on the opposite side of the boat, you can have an optional second live well or just a built-in cooler. So we've got yet another uh, space for wet storage or cooler. You could put snorkel fins, snorkel down there or whatever. There's a, re a freshwater wash down hose right here right at the back of the boat where you need it. And then we come over to the uh, port side of the boat and it gets real exciting. A 23 foot boat with a side utility door, also known as a dive door, is virtually unheard of. But here they've got a nice side utility door. What this does is number one, it's very useful for, um, for snorkeling, getting in and out of the water when you're at the island, but it also allows Everglades to utilize the full transom of the boat for the two live wells or the live well with cooler and those very generous rear seats. But hey, what do you do with the rest of the space on the side of the boat? They've used every bit of space. You can't have horizontal rod storage here, but you can have another locker. Dock lines, um, again, snorkel equipment, fishing equipment is real handy there. And underneath the helm seat, we've got more tackle storage. There's four drawers with very nice stainless steel ball bearing slides um, and nice fit and finish. One of the things Everglades is known for is how sturdy their hardtops are. And almost all of them have a built-in ski toe attachment um, most builders will not do that because they don't feel their hard top is rigid enough. This one is, and um, so you've got the built-in uh, ski toe point with some beautifully finished um, rocket launchers. The stereo system on this boat features JL Audio speakers, JL Audio amplifier, and the Fusion Apollo stereo head. It's a really solid stereo system. Uh, there's subwoofer built in. Uh, you've got the four large speakers, the two hard top speakers, and the amp. It's phenomenal. Of course, the stereo system is totally integrated to the electronics, so you can very quickly control the stereo right from the GPS screen. It's a little bit easier to control because the screen is bigger, especially if you're listening to Bluetooth or XM Audio. I love the fact on this 
boat that they gave this huge access hatch to the back of the boat, to the, to the rigging space. It's super sturdy, it's beautifully finished. We've got the nice heavy duty gas pistons on both sides of the hatch and easy access to all of the critical rigging. Fuel water separator, super important to have nice and easy to get to. And uh, if you look at the electrical connections, they're kept high and dry with tie wraps. The hose clamps have these nice protective uh, plastic caps on the end so you don't scratch your hand or cut your hand. And then on the larger hose clamps, they have two of them and they're offsetting. So super nice job. By the way, while we're in here, it's important to notice that the inside of the build is actually finished gel coat. And that's a uh, byproduct of the ram cap design. The inside of the boat on an Everglades, all the way from bow to stern, is finished gel coat. And that's the top cap. When I talked about the boat inside of a boat, that's the top cap of the ram cap sandwich around the foam. Pretty neat. The back of the boat is super clean and very functional. First of all, there's two swim platforms, uh, one on each side of the motor, and they're great for fishing or water sports. Over on the starboard side, there's going to be an integrated uh, swim ladder and um, nice stainless steel. When you pull it out, it does extend. And furthermore, it does have this cover with good stainless hardware and the uh, nylon cover has non-skid built in for safety. We've also got a handhold. Sometimes that's forgotten about, but it's very important. Let's check out the motor. This is the all new Yamaha F300 XSB. And what does that mean? Well, the S in the model number means integrated steering. So um, this is a fully electric, industry first, fully electric steering ram built into the motor. Um, there's a computer network essentially from the helm back to the motor. There is one wire going from the front of the boat to the back of the boat that controls steering, shift, throttle, and all of the gauges. Um, it's really, really neat. Um, it was developed um, by Seastar. Um, but it was made and in, in, in designed just specific to Yamaha. So it's a, a pretty neat engine. Um, there are some other changes that were made to the new 300. One of them is greater charging output. So there's um, an abundance of uh, charge output to handle some of the modern day electronics. And you'll notice Everglades does a, sort of a minimalistic on the logos. Um, so it's a very clean look. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the 2022 Everglades 235 Center Console. I'm Paul with Boaters Exchange. Come see us in Rockledge, Florida or New Smyrna Beach, Florida. We'd love to show it to you in person. Boaters Exchange is a Yamaha five-star dealership. We're NMMA certified and uh, we feature Yamaha and Mercury outboards. Thank you so much.